Hi and welcome to my channel, The Stitchy Wife. Today we are doing Friday sews outside. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've been here before and supported me all the way since the beginning or maybe joined during this last six months or if you're new here, very welcome. I hope you can feel all the love that is shared on this small community. And welcome to my sewing corner of the world. I am Elizabeth and my channel is called The Stitchy Wife and today it's time for Friday sews. A little bit of life and a little bit of sewing. And it is actually the brainchild of um, Jan from today in Jan's sewing room. So thank you Jan for coming up with this amazing idea. It is such a great thing to have to keep, partly as to keep as a guide uh, when you're filming and when you're very new at this that I am. And um, you have something to keep up with when you're planning your vlogging. So thank you Jan. And if you haven't watched her videos, please go check them out. I'm sitting outside as you can see, and I am actually behind me is a uh, rhododendron. I don't, I think that is what it's called in English too. I will check it up and if not, I will write the right word here. But this is actually from my father's uh, childhood home down in Blekinge in the very south of Sweden. And um, he took a piece of this with him to his very first home, his first home, and then to his and mum's first home. And then we have took a bit with us every time we moved. And now I thought it was about time I took it to where I am, me and Peter are living. So it has gotten its place here. And this is the first year that it's actually blossoming. So I thought I would share that with you because it is such a beautiful blossom. And um, yeah, it reminds me of mom and dad, and it's so, so many memories around this bush. So yeah, I'm loving it, and I'm so grateful that it actually actually started to bloom. I was a bit worried that it didn't have the right material to um, grow in, but I think we made it work. I hope you can hear me over all the birds, but I just had to share this day with you once again, because uh, we don't get these days very often here. So I just love to enjoy them and do most the most of them. What about this week that has gone almost? It's, it's actually Thursday evening today that I'm filming this. I was planning on filming it tomorrow at Friday, but um, realizing how this last week has been, I know that if I'm not doing it now, I probably won't be able to publish Friday shows this week either. So I thought, why not do it one day ahead? instead of being late or maybe not being able to do it at all. If we start with the life part, it has been a week full of hospital visits for me, for my mother-in-law and for a very dear friend to the family. And it has been quite tough ones all around. The friend of the family is probably not going to come home anymore. Uh, so that's very sad. And my mother-in-law got worse. Um, from the doctors than she expect, expect, expected and um, a lot worse actually. So if you're praying I would be so thankful if you would send a prayer for us because we need it now. Uh, they are investigating what is uh, what my body is doing at the moment because the uh, what do you call it the tests that they are taking isn't good at all. So yeah, at the same time we take it day by day and trying to enjoy and not worry too much and just believe that we get what we are supposed to have and uh, we, we need to share it every day we get and that is the main thing. So we're trying to do that and that is one big thing why I'm sitting outside today because I want to enjoy this day. It is glorious if that's the word. What I've been sewing? Well, it's been a couple of nights where I haven't been able to sleep at all. So I decided to get up and sew instead. Maybe not a idea, good idea, I don't know, but it made me start on my module and that made me really happy. 
and I actually finished one. The first uh, thing on my list, on my module, was the topper, uh, the evergreen jacket from Heiji and Handmade, and it was an amazing pattern, as always with her, but I don't know why I'm surprised. Um, I love it as a layering piece, and I will insert pictures while I'm talking with me modeling it and this is a wearable toile because this was a first for me and um, this is definitely not going to be my last and I will try and do a sew along later on this when we're coming closer to autumn because for most places in the world this is a bit too warm in the summer but here in Sweden it's great I used mine all the day yesterday uh, because it was cold and today it's 24 degrees so it's very very nice and um, yeah I'm wearing my Marseille dress, also from Hey Handmade, and loving it. And I'm planning to do a sew along for this. As I've actually done, I've finished my sew along with the Greer jumpsuit, and that is finished. That jumpsuit is finished. And that is something else I've been wearing and enjoying very much. So, what have taken a lot longer than I thought was editing the sew along. I did have no idea that it took, would take so much time, and I am just hoping that you would like it, will like it. It's about two hour long and I'm thinking about either doing it two parts, but I, at the same time I'm thinking that you can come and go to a thing like a sew along. So that is not something you sit and just watch or you, it will keep you company when you are in your sewing room. So let me know what you think. Do you think it's better if you divide a sew along in different parts or is it better to just publish all at once? I will try and publish this all at once this weekend because it's very close to being finished. And my Greer jumpsuit is finished and uh, I will insert pictures of that too here. I'm loving them but that I know I would love because they turned into shorts. Uh, for those of you that will see this so long will see that I started. they started out at three quarter length but they weren't long enough. I didn't have fabric enough. And now I've actually dyed them. So the pictures you are seeing now is in black. The grey jumpsuit is in black, but uh, from the beginning it was a bit easier to see on the screen. So that's why I didn't dye it before. But it turned out great and they are a wonderful piece to have in the summer wardrobe. And I want to make, um, what do you call it? A long one too, the other version too, because yeah, it's a great piece altogether. What else have I been doing? I got um, the last fabric that I bought from Rainbow Fabric in London. Uh, I think I ordered it about one and a half month ago. They had a flash sale, 40%. Does anyone remember when that was? Well, that this was from that. And hang on a minute and I will take uh, get the fabrics. I did not order many because, as I said before, money is a bit tight. But uh, this was too good of a deal to skip. And I actually, for the first time ever, I think, is have bought a lemon print. I think it's lemon. I don't think it's oranges. Is it? What do you think? Will this suit me? I think so. And I hope so because I'm planning on making some kind of a dress and I'm hoping to get it finished. Sorry, the wind might take the noise now uh, or take over the noise. I just love it. Feeling the wind blowing in my hair is a wonderful feeling. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, this fabric. I'm actually t thinking about taking part in part in is it called so fruity maybe 22 I will insert the hashtag down here uh, I never taken part in that because I've never owned a fabric before that is fruits on so I got very excited when I received this because I actually didn't remember that I, that I ordered it but I really like it and I like the coloring so that will be a dress of some sort maybe a spring dress because it's a wonderful viscose and I think it would look wonderful like it or maybe a myosotis or um, fringe dress maybe by Shock and Notch. What do you think? Please let me know this week and what I should make of this. And I will try and make it next week. 
The other thing is quite a bit of basic. It was six meter of this wonderful bamboo cotton, uh, not bamboo, bamboo jersey. And it is pure love. And I think I will have this as a basic white t-shirt and I will definitely dye it and use it. It was 40% off of a good price from the beginning. That is what I remember now. I don't remember the pricing actually. If you're hearing the rooster, he is quite annoying at times, but at the same time, it's so cute because the neighbors, they've gotten chickens and they are super cute. And um, I don't know if I'm able to, no, she hasn't taken them out yet. So I won't be able to film them in this episode, but m I might be able to do it next time. Um, back to fabrics. The last piece was this, another viscose. And it is blue, pink, white, and gray. And it is just beautiful. And I'm thinking about doing some kind of shirt dress. Or maybe the McCall's one that is free from Minerva. Um, that a lot of people have done. I will insert pictures here somewhere. What do you think? What kind of dress should I make in this um, gingham one? I think it's a bit tricky with ginghams because I don't want them to be too overwhelming so to speak because this is quite a big one big gingham maybe it isn't even called gingham maybe it's just shickered i don't know what's the right word for it you tell me have you any ideas what i should make with that one it's viscose and it's four meters actually so i've got quite a lot and um yeah i want to do something that i that is versatile but yeah, something nice. And uh, I, d I don't use, uh, I haven't used a lot of this kind of fabrics and I haven't, I ventured out a lot regarding fabrics this last year. And I'm so glad for it that I'm daring to try because that is my main focus. Try, try, try and see where it takes me. So yeah, what do you think? What should I make of these? What else in the sewing? department well what i'm about to start today and maybe will be finished tomorrow even is my is it called lane raglan from hadrian handmade i will do a short sew with me regarding that i want to sew along for that my next sew along will be will be the southport pants because i love that uh, seaforth i mean sorry <laughs> i keep calling it southport i don't know why seaforth pants pants I want my linen pants and I've decided to make that a sew along too. We will see how that turn out. I'm so anxious to hear what you think about my first sew along. You hear me blabbering, don't you? I think I am a bit nervous today and I think it has to do with publishing the first sew along and I know it's silly. But that's me. I think you know me by now. Um, well, what was I talking about? I was talking about the Seaforth pants. I need my linen pants and they would be a great add to my wardrobe. Yeah, that will be my next project. But I'm thinking about just doing a quick one tonight, the Lane Raglan. And that was the refashioning of this, my mom's old t-shirt. And I think I'm going to do that and maybe add to the t-shirt for summer by uh, So Joey. Joey. And uh, that is definitely, yeah, that is the plan. That is what I'm gonna do. My next week is mainly consistent. We have a few doctor's appointments too, but not that many like this week. So I think I will be able to sew more at least. Um, I think I will be having some more time and I'm planning to start sewing for Peter next week. And I'm using the apostrophe patterns and um, I think they call it fit me. Sorry, the rooster. He's, he's looking for his hen, is what Majori is. Uh, her name is Majori, uh, the owner. And uh, Majori is telling me that uh, the rooster is looking for the hen that just got in chicken. S so that is why he's sounding so much, if you're wondering. Um, back to t-shirt for summer and sewing for Peter and apostrophe patterns. I am all over the place today as always. Sorry. It's a bit trickier to film outside because you get so 
distracted by everything else going on. Um, but I hope you think it's okay because I wanted to share this with you and sharing this Sweden with you because Sweden is beautiful in the summer and in the autumn and in the spring too, but it's a different thing. But these days are sparse and when you get them, you want to enjoy them. Back to the patterns, again. Apostrophe patterns and fit me, I think. My fit, that is the word, my fit. You include a lot of uh, measurements and you get a pattern just for you. And I'm so excited to try. I'm gonna try with the t-shirt pattern for Peter and see how that turns out. And then I'm going to the sweatpants and see how that turns out. And if it's working, it will be great. Otherwise, I will have to draft the patterns myself. But it would be nice to not have to do that next week. Uh, because I want to be a part of He Made June. Uh, I really like the thought of that hashtag and I will be filming a special video about that and what I'm thinking and planning and how I even thought I would add how I am um, measuring Peter and uh, what measurements is needed for that and how it's turning out so you can see for yourself what you think about it because I really that idea intrigues me especially regarding men's pattern because at least my man doesn't want to try. That is his worst nightmare. He hates trying on clothes. And I'm actually planning on doing, um, what are they calling it? Um, you know, the dress form that you, uh, bootstrap. I have ordered it, a bootstrap of him. Can you say it like that? I hope you get what I mean. But a bootstrap form that is shaped after his proportions and uh, shape. And it will be great to have that if it will work. If it will work, if it, yeah, if it will work. Uh, so I thought I would take you along with that too. But that might not be next week. Uh, it's all depending on the doctors and so on. But here you have it: a little bit of sewing and a little bit of life. And it was a bit less this week. I can see that. I've only talked for about 15 minutes now, and that is very short for being me. What I thought I would add here at the end is showing you all my seeds and growing and my garden and how far we come because I've had some questions about it and I was so happy and I really want to share it with you because I'm overly excited. It has grown incredibly in a month. It's a month and one week since I planted most of the seeds and you wouldn't think it's the same place if you're looking at it. There has been some, well, not great experiences, but most of the time it is amazing. So I will have to do that before Peter came home from work and start working on the shed. And yeah, so let's look at the garden and uh, I hope you will want to see my so long for the Guirian jumpsuit that is coming this weekend. And my plans for Peter for next week that is also coming this weekend. So stay tuned and if you haven't subscribed already and want to see what is happening in this channel this summer, please do because it means so so much to me if you're doing and give it a like and so on because it helps the channel to get promoted so to speak. It gets the channel out there and um, I'm loving the community that we are creating here and yeah. Thank you for being here and being my sewing friends and being a part of my life. I am so grateful for every day that I get with you. Take care and have a wonderful, wonderful evening and a wonderful weekend. And I hope to see you back here this weekend and uh, with more videos. And I can't wait to hear from you in the comments. Bye for now and stay put if you want to see some of the garden and what has happened. First, I just had to show you some more of this bush. I just love it. And there is no squirrels now. Here is, well, it isn't a small shed. I would exaggerate if I said that, or under exaggerate. It's four meters to the knock top end, what do you call it? 
Don't you just love being able to hang your wash outside to dry? I just love that feeling. That is summer for me. Here we start off with a lot of parsley. It is a lot. And I take every day and it's just going in more. It's amazing. And some salads. And here is thyme coming. And it is lemon thyme I'm thinking. And oregano. Here is the lemon thyme so it's a bit slower. And here is some chili. And my tomato plants. I don't even know if I showed you. But these are seeds from seeds. And I think it is amazing that I've grown this. Or I, well, God has grown them. But I have planted them. <laughs> I think I can take some credit, don't you? Here is another plant. And here we have our wonderful, wonderful. Then here is something that isn't that amazing. As Peter said, we want starting to sell lavender, lavender, because this is actually lavender that I sowed one month ago, and this is all that's been coming. This is store bought, so that is not my making at all. This is. Well, what is that called? I have to check that. But we got a plant and it's starting to create berries now. It's not strawberries, but it, it is between the oh. spring strawberries. I don't know the word for it. Then we have mint. This is peppermint. And here we have I will insert it, what it's called, because I can't remember it. And here is forget-me-not, is that plant called. I don't know if we have that in England, or UK, or anywhere else in the world. Here is strawberry mint. I don't know if you heard of about that either, because that is a first for me. It's a mint that is tasting strawberry. It's really strange, but really good. Then we have one of the amazing potato plants. Can you imagine? This has grown in one month. I can't believe it. And here is the view from our house. Here is more mint. And here is this flower. That I don't know what it's called. Lonitera, maybe in Latin. But it is looking beautiful and it is that's that needs water. Sorry. And more tomato plants. I'm loving planting tomatoes because they are working so great. And here we have my little this is two small tomatoes that probably has dropped when I try to plant basil and I probably had them on my fingers because they were not supposed to be there at all and here we have parsley and spring onion they're coming in a little bit in between so that is not a good way of planting and here we have chives parsley and all of a sudden it's basil has decided to turn up there I don't know it must be a mistake of mine, of course. But And this is baby carrots, and I don't know how it's going to work, but we'll see. Here is salad that I I took everything and uh, started from scratch again, because the salad was really overflowing. And here is um, squash. I think it will need some more room, so I'm afraid that it won't be anything. But it's I will give it a shot and here is lemon thyme and here is regular thyme and here is chives and oregano and parsley and even more potatoes can you see 
potato, 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 and raspberry. And apple and husband, him I haven't planted, but he's growing quite good anyway. <laughs> that was all, this is my apple tree, our apple tree I mean. Bye for now and hope to talk to you soon. Have a wonderful weekend.